save a horse, ride a cowboy, rip, rip. Happy Thursday, friends. It's vlog day, and I'm here at home before I get to the shop, but I wanted to show this sweet little baby right here. Say hello, Maybell. Say good morning, everybody. Hi. She's a very good girl. She's almost in <clears throat> in May. She will be two years old. Can you believe that, Maybell? She's she's looking out for Mr. Fluffer Pants. Mr. Fluffer Pants is not. He's still sleeping, but two. Oh no, no. I think I heard him. Mr. Fluffer Pants. <gasps> There he is. Say hello. Good morning, Mr. Fluffer Pants. That's about all he'll he'll do. All right, we're going to get going. So you be a good girl. Mr. Fluffer Pants will be a good boy. So for today's agenda, um, I have a live sale today at 1 o'clock. I have everything ready for that sale. Um, I have a roofer coming out to the shop at 9. So I have to make sure that I answer the door for him. Um, I, I think one thing that I'm going to do today, I do have some eBay sales, so we will go over some eBay sales. So there's at least that, but, um, I'm going to, I need to straighten up my shelves a little bit. So I think we're going to straighten up some of the shelves. I've got a lot of space that needs to be compacted to make room for more things. So, um, I think that's what we're going to do today. And I have some ephemera that I want to go through a little bit. I thought also I might show you what I do after each live sale to prepare the stuff for shipping. You know, on Thursday mornings, I wake up and I just decide, I don't know what I'm going to do. So those are the things that we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and get our coat on because it's cold again and we'll make our way to the shop. I also wanted to show you, they're really kind of askew right now. I'm not sure what's going on with this bench. I don't know if Mr. Fluffer Pants hopped up here, but I am getting ready to get all of my Easter things out, but I did get, ooh, let me pan this out a little bit. I did get this new blue bunny. He's going to sit right next to my pouty bear. And then I did pick this little cutie up. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep him or if I'm going to sell him yet, but we'll put him down there. Uh, I have to kind of keep him back because I'm afraid Maybell. And then this is the newest addition to the family. Isn't he cute? He's so flat. And oh gosh, I love him. So I got to arrange him a little bit better. But there's some new members of the gang right there. Also, you can see I'm I'm getting ready to... I, I mean, St. Patrick's Day, it has not occurred yet. It's, I don't know, I think it's Friday. I don't know. But I do decorate for it, even though I don't really even know what day it is particularly. But... I got some bunnies out there and I'm really excited because Liz Retros, Liz Retros sent me these bunnies and I'm going to use them in my Easter display. So I just kind of stuck them up there on the top in preparation to get started on that decor. I also wanted to show this to Elisa. Elisa sent me this little girl and she was all colored in because this was a doll that was made in the 60s that was sold and you, you could use crayons and you could color her. She We couldn't get all of the color off of her bows but I kind of, she's kind of haunting with no collar on her so we did get her cleaned up and I have her sitting it's kind of dark over here and I just dropped a picture on the floor so but normally there's a picture there and she sits right there and she haunts over that um, picture see she just stands there over Jaden's picture and guards it okay so before I do anything else I want to go ahead and open this box this box came from Elisa, and she it comes to a lot of my sales, and she has a daughter named Amanda. Hello, Amanda. I got your box. I'm going to open it up today. Um, I just got to the shop. Um, I had to clear off this table a little bit because I had a lot of eBay stuff laying around. Oh, my goodness. I see something so cute. Look at Oh, my gosh. It's a little chicken with a crown. That is a door. Oh, it's two of them. <gasps> okay, those are going to go in my Easter displays. I love them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, these will, too. These are little Easter bunny cupcake picks. I will take those. I am taking these out of the package. They are in these, this, the original packaging. But 
Those are going to go in little bits and bobs. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to wear this today. This is fabulous because this matches everything that I have on. I have on my little red porch um, t-shirt. I don't know if she has them on her website anymore or not um, because they were just like a limited time thing for the holiday. Wearing my brooch. I love it. I love it. Thank you. And then we've got Oh my gosh, oh my goodness, it's Mary Had a Little Lamb. Well, she's going to go in my Easter displays too. Look, Mary Had a Little Lamb, and she is still hanging on by her chain. All right, and so we've got some. <gasps> oh, do any of you watch Yellowstone? Who else? Oh my gosh, who else is in love with Rip? From Yellowstone. Look at this. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Rip, rip. Look. Rip's looking a little like Waylon. He's looking a little Waylon in this. Oh my gosh. I love that. That needs to go on a shirt. Like, I need to put that on something. Rip is so cute. Do you know Mark told me he's an actual, he's a natural redhead? How Mark knows this, I don't know. I don't know how Mark knows some of the things that he knows. But this is a home needle case. Nice. Not sewing Susan. Very nice. This is really pretty because it has almost like a winter display on it. And it's not sewing Susan. Here we have Easter greetings. Oh, perfect. Because I have a lot of empty uh, flower frogs. I've been buying a lot. I have a couple empty ones. So... That's going to go home with me as well. <gasps> oh, I love this. Oh, she is saucy. Look at that. P-I-E-R-R-O-T-S. Place Pajali. Look at the back. Well, her, uh, her, uh, her, her body has been dismembered. Her head's over here and her legs are over here. What is this? <gasps> Oh, this is saucy. What? This is like a Moulin Rouge thing. This is saucy. Oh, this is fabulous. Look at it. It's kind of saucy. She's sitting on a moon in, with her moon. Look at it. These are like hand-drawn pinups. She's on a rocket ship. These are fabulous. Oh, my God. Good. I can't show them all because there's bits and bobs. Well, yes, there are. These are amazing. Oh. Oh. I love that. I freaking love that. Okay. This is Grandma's Thinking Book by Grandma herself. Right from the Ozarks. I think, yeah. Elisa's in Kansas. This is like a Grandma's Thinking Book by Grandma herself. Copyright, Tuck Out. This was compiled and written by Marie Russell. This book ain't done up fancy, and it's not spelled, none of it's spelled correctly. Pearly Reed done got all her teeth pulled out for nothing. A tooth puller told her he would pull out all her teeth if he if she would hire him to make her a new set. Well, I'll be. That's an interesting read there. Grandma's thinking book. And then, oh my gosh. <gasps> now, I'm surprised Amanda gave this. Amanda loves elephants. This is adorable. Oh my, this is a my toy. Oh my toy. He is going to go in with my other little misfits. I love him. He's a rubber-faced um, elephant, and he's got this teal stuffing with a little pink belly. He is adorable. Oh, I love him. Elisa. This is so good. Oh, a little baby. Baby, she's a composite baby, and she still has on her dress. A lot of times I find these, and they don't have their clothes anymore. 
here she and I love her green dress should be great for Easter display with that green there she is she's so sweet she's like she's a thinking she's a thinking girl but she has movable composite arms and legs her legs move too see boop, boop, boop. she's not like a, you know a frozen composite doll I love her Thank you so much, Elisa. I love everything. It's all going to go great in my... i got to fix this. This is flopping around a little too much, but I'll fix that later. But I... I mean, Rip. And I love the Nudie Girl book. That's fabulous. Thank you so very much. And thank you to Amanda. Amanda, thank you so much for being so kind and sharing a gift with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a wonderful day today. All right. So now I have to, let's see, the roofers are going to be here at nine. So that's 15 minutes away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check some emails real quick. And then I'm going to get things um, ready for to do the what sold on eBay. I've sold some things, not a lot, but we'll, we'll go ahead and discuss those things and make that part of this video as well. I do want to say, though, before we switch gears a little bit, that I'm going to have another video up tonight. Yes, two videos today. What This video um, is my normal vlog, but the one tonight is actually going to be a drop sale. So Patrick, trusty huckster mercantile, has invited me to participate in a drop sale collaboration. It's like a shop hop. So I will, um, I've posted in my community tab the times that the shops start, and you just go to every shop. And at a particular time, and you can watch their drop sale. I mean, you can watch them later, too, to see if, you know, some things didn't sell. And you can go ahead and pick things up after the fact. But all of the stores, all of the all of the YouTube channels that are participating are listed in my community tab. So you can go up and check right now. I have listed them also on my Instagram account and on my Facebook page. So I hope that you will go and check them out. Mine begins at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time tonight, so I hope that you will come on over to that. And then right after my sale is Catherine Young. So I've had a live sale with her before. She brings a lot of nice things too. So make sure that you're going over to all of those channels and subscribing to them and seeing the things that they are selling in the drop sale. Okay, now I'm going to go get things set up to tell you what sold for me on eBay this week. Before we get to the eBay stuff, I wanted to just show you kind of a little bit of, I guess, behind the scenes, behind the scenes of my live sale. So I'm going to flip the camera. So these are the items that I sold yesterday. So what I need to do, this is the fairy lamp that I gave away that caused a whole lot of uh, controversy, apparently, because... Somebody thought that I, they hated my attitude for, you know, the way that I handled my my giveaway, but that's been handled. But anyway, um, these things over here, I, 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 when I sell things, I put them on this cart. I'm going to roll this cart. I got this cart from Ikea. I wish I would have brought, bought two of them. They're not that fun to put together. But I have this one here, and I, I piggyback off of these two. But I like this one because it's just so thin, and it wheels around nice. So what I need to do is, or what I do, is I'll take the things off of this cart, put them on this table. This is a holding table, so the things that I put on this table are things that I will have to ship on Thursday. Look at that glorious fairy lamp. Boop. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with watching me put all these things over there, but I move all everything over there and then I'll move this cart back over here because this is where I sit. So there's my camera, got that light and that light, and then the cart is right here. Um, th these things on this cart, because, well, I'll show you here in a second, but these are the things that I'm selling during today's live sale which is today's Wednesday for me. It's Thursday for you, but it's Wednesday for me. So these things will be going on this table in front of me because that's where I, you know, I, I pick them up and I show them. Um, I'll get the rest of that down. But what I do with the carts is I wheel my carts all the way over here. Well, okay, let me rewind. So I'm unloading all of these things for today's sale. 
The things behind me are things, these are all things, so here's a little preview. These are all things that will be available in next Wednesday sale. So I do like to plan ahead and get everything ready. After today's sale, I will put these things on the one of the cart, well, pro probably this cart, and then I'll wheel the cart over here. Wheel, 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 we're pushing the cart. We're pretending that we're pushing the cart. Wheeling it all the way over here, because all the way over here, I have this little setup here, and this is where I take photos and do the reels for my preview. Now, ultimately, I want to sell all of these things. You know, I, I, there's a lot, I know. I know there's a lot. So all of these things need to get, I want to sell. Um, because I like to bring my workstation up, forward, to about right here, so I don't have to go through a maze of things to, uh, you know, just to take pictures for my live sales. So, in a perfect world, that'll happen. But for now, we're just doing what we go, well, what we can. And I have to say, and I've said this, I'm very blessed to be able to have this space that I can work out of. I did work out and I did reselling out of my home for several years. I understand that it's stressful. I did a lot of things where I had bins and boxes and it would be a constant flow of putting things in a bin, putting it out in the garage, putting things on a shelf, pulling that. So I get it. I, I get it that if you, you can't have your things set up a week in advance. Um, if you don't have a dedicated space. So I'm very, very blessed that I do have this space so I can, you know, be a little bit more organized because my brain is all over the place. So I, I, I'm very blessed to have this space. I pay for this space, so don't get me wrong. You know, it's not free, but it's, I'm very blessed that I, that I do have this space that I can use. So that's kind of what I do. Another thing that I do to kind of help me save time for shipping, since I'm shipping sometimes over 80 things on a Thursday. And for example, let me show you this. I'm going to bring all this stuff over here. We may get interrupted because the roofing people will be here at any moment, theoretically. So let me put you down here. I moved my little arm camera thing, so we'll have to make this work. But... What I do is I will, this was my giveaway. So what I, I like to try to just get things as, this is too close. Let me fix this again. Ooh, is that better? It's not a very tri, a high tripod. And now you're crooked. Well, we're a hot mess today. Okay. So these are the things that I, that I gave away at the beginning, you know, at the end of the sale. So what I like to do is get them prepped. So I will go ahead and wrap them up. This is breakable, so, oh no, I gotta have to move this camera again. So we're gonna wrap this up. And I, and I need to do things like this because um, I get very confused. <laughs> so I have to do things that will help uh, me remember and not get things mixed up. All right, so what I will do is get all of these things together, wrapped up, just lost some ribbon. And, whoop. oh, get up there, little fella. I'm still going to put this in a baggie so we'll, it'll all stay together. But what I do is this was Tuesday sale giveaway. So on my baggie, I will write Tuesday sale giveaway. And that way, when I'm doing my shipping, I know that this particular one is Tuesday's live sale giveaway because I also do a giveaway on Wednesday sale. So that way, this is all, whoop, there we go. This is all done, and when I go shipping, 
I can just add this into their package. Now, um, another thing that I try to do to prep um, is, for example, well, let's just take these cute bunnies. These cute bunnies, they sold together. We're keeping them together. They're gonna live together in their new home. But I'm gonna go ahead and prep them. And by prepping them, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a plastic bag. They're gonna be shipped together. So that prep work is done. Again, with some of these bags I get on Amazon are these nice size bags here too that you just slide in your ephemera and seal it up and it just protects it from the elements. And it leaves a nice, you can't even see the top of my head. Good grief. It leaves, this is a hot mess of a vlog today. It leaves a quasi-professional look to the item. Same with linens. I'll fold the linen, grab, a, I just buy these gallon baggies from um, Walmart and we'll put that in the baggie. Now, I would recommend if you sold multiple linens, like if you had lots of linens um, and you wanted to do this kind of prep work that you just go ahead and maybe write a, a, just a quick description on the baggie. And I'm telling you what, trust me, this absolutely saves you time. And I've got the scrapbook. It's also going to go in one of these big bags. We'll see if it'll fit. If not, then, oh, I think it just might fit. Oh my goodness, that fits like a glove. And then we've got that prepped. And, and all I gotta do is grab it. I don't have to, you know, mess with the bags. It is ready to go. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up bagging up the other things. I forgot that I had made a cup of coffee, so it's a little cold. I will keep these things up in the background for today's sale. And then when today's sale is over, I'll load them up, like I said, on that cart and to get them ready for photos. And then I will get things set up for Wednesday sale back behind me. And what I do is, I know that there is, well, I know that I could do a spreadsheet and I could have all these on a nice spreadsheet. And I do do that after the fact. After the sale is over, well, after all of my sales are over for the week, I will make a spreadsheet in uh, Google Sheets and it'll, it'll say that way I have a hard copy record each week of what my sales are, but I do just write everything down and I assign in a number. The number means nothing other than the giveaway. I will pull a number and the person that won that item that's numbered there will win it. But what I do is just write down a brief description of it and then put the price tag or a dollar sign or write the price and then I write the customer's name. And then I keep track of my sales at the end of the sale up there. And then I go into Google Sheets and um, transfer all of that information by hand. Um, but I don't know. It's just kind of one of those things that I like to do it. Don't ask me why. I, I like to do weird things. That may not make sense to a whole lot of people, but I like it. And, I'm, and I, just, I just do it. I just do it that way. So um, now... We are, oh, the roofer is here. So I did let him in. Um, but right now, I am, now I'm going to go on to eBay. We're going to go on to eBay and we're going to see what sold for me this past week. I've sold more than what I sold last week, but I don't know. I don't know if I've, if I've, you know, if it was a good week yet. I haven't, I haven't determined that yet. So let me go on eBay and I'll pull everything up so we can do a screen record of what sold for me on eBay this week. Okay. One more thing before we, before we do the eBay sales, I know you're all on bated breath waiting on these fabulous YouTube sales. I, I need, oh, these. Well, first, if you didn't know, which you may not, but this is where I store my, my things that are actively listed on eBay. And we sold, 
hammer time. I, the, the both of them, but we're gonna ship these. So I thought maybe we could just ship these real quick. We do a little shipping. We might do the shipping just using this little tripod. So we'll make it the best that we can, but I'll show you how I ship. So people do ask me a lot, you know, what kind of bubble wrap should I, should I use? And I like to keep two different kinds of bubble wrap on hand from American Bubble Boy. Best bubble wrap in my opinion. And there's a link that can save you a little bit of money down in the description of every video I put out. So if you're looking for it, it's in the description of every single video. There are two different sizes that I use. These are the small bubbles. This is just one sheet. So I usually get, we'll, we'll get, and I'll go through about four rolls a month of uh, the small sheets. I also like to get the large bubbles and that's what these are. So that's what I'm going to use on this. I did put these together. I sold them together, so I put them in a bag like I had showed you before. But you know, the, 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 they're still in their original boxes, so I don't want them to get completely crushed. So I'm going to use, I'm gonna to try to, to prevent that if all possible, and I'm gonna just wrap it in a little layer of these big bubble wrap. I think we just need to tape it one time. I don't think we need to overdo it. And then I will some tool, the cool tool. And that just looks sloppy, so I like to trim it a little bit. And then um, by the time that they get this, St. Patrick's Day will be over, but I've, I'm going to go ahead and give them a shamrock for luck. Well, actually, that's two shamrocks. We don't want them to, we want to save the luck to somebody else a little bit too. You want to spread the luck. So I'll put the shamrock there. Obviously, my business card, so they know how to find me. These mailing boxes here from that you get free from USPS. Oh, let's see if it'll fit in there. I like to try to use the free boxes if at all possible. I will say this though too, as far as shipping goes. Well, and as, I guess as far as live sales go, if you're doing a live sale, you. You should, shouldn't sell an item, in my humble opinion, before you have the box that you need to ship it in. It barely fits, but it does fit in one of these um, USPS, I call these shirt boxes, because that's about what the size of them are. So it does fit in that. So we will weigh it, could put the measurements on it, and print on the label. What I was saying is that if you are having a sale or if you are a seller in general, whether you're having a live sale, whether you are selling on eBay, it's so important for you to have supplies on hand, on hand. So you're not running out at the last minute. And, you know, because, you know, eBay is like, you got to get stuff shipped out, you know. And honestly, if you're having a live sale, you need to get the stuff shipped out to your customer. Okay, so now we're going to go see what we sold on eBay. I know I keep teasing you with that, but, but let's go see what sold on eBay this week. Okay, so we're going to start with the MC Hammer pants, or the MC Hammer clothes. So here we go. We have the 1991 MC Hammer doll clothes clothing lot wrap fashion metal McHammer. There's a typo in that. This should be, this should be MC Space Hammer, just like that. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, they sold for $22, $22 and the buyer paid $8 and 70 cents shipping. Um, I think that I paid, gosh, I don't remember how much I paid for these, but I don't think I made a whole lot of all profit. So uh, these are something that I would not buy again, but I was so excited when I did find them because I thought MC Hammer nineties. No, even though they're real originally in the box, I, it's something that I, I probably wouldn't pick up again but maybe had I had the listing correctly it maybe would have sold for a little bit more but we shall never know okay the next item our mark sold some hot wheels so he sold these hot wheels firebird funny car blackwell lot gold 20th anniversary dark red here they are now you can see some of the they're not in perfect condition they're not they they they've been played with um, he, I love, this is, this is the thing that's great. If you are, you know, if you are married and you like to go thrifting and it's good to find, like he's looking for these things and license plates so we can kind of look for our own things for resale. 
Um, and, you know, he took some wonderful pictures of these. Um, the nice thing about Hot Wheels, as you can see here, if I make this picture bigger, when you find them, they've got the what car they are. They've got the date on the bottom of it. So that makes it really nice when you are, you know, sourcing these or when you're listing them. But um, he did sell these two together for um, $21.73. And I believe it was, yeah, it was free shipping, free shipping. And he gets these like in big, big bulk lots. So um, that was a great sale there. The next item is another beauty subscription box item. Um, this is Seraphine Botanicals Primrose L Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Pal Palette. Brand new, never opened. Um, it sold for $11 on a best offer. I am certain I probably had it listed at $14 originally. The buyer did get free shipping. Oh, Chatty Cathy. This was the last of the Chatty Cathy outfits that I have listed and sold. Um, this one is Vintage 1961 Chatty Cathy uh, number 967, which was nice because I had this little um, booklet here, and then that helped me identify it. Um, this was the Playtime outfit made by Mattel, and it had the original paper insert. It sold for $48. I did do free shipping. It did ship first class, but a great find. And I, I bought a suitcase filled with them. So I've made my money three, four times over with that lot. So that was a really good, that was a good thing. And I will continue to look for Chatty Cathy outfits for resale if I can get them for a good price. Next, we have this Dermalect Revitalite Eyelid and Dark Circle Corrector. This was brand new in the box. Another subscription um, item, subscription box item that I wouldn't use. At least, maybe I should use it, but I, I just know that I wouldn't use it. Anyway, it sold for $30, um, and I did do free shipping, and it shipped first class. You're going to see a couple of things in this week's video that were my own. These were my shoes. Um, I thrifted them. They were in great condition when I bought them, and I got them to keep, but I never wore them. So I decided to go ahead and put them up on eBay. These were, or are... Nike Women's Air Hirachi Run Ultra. And listen, I'm not a runner, so I was not going to be running in these shoes. But um, they kind of have this, um, you can see here, kind of like where you slip them on kind of a deal. So you never really had to untie them. I just didn't like, they, the, the tongue of them went really high up on my ankle, and I, I just didn't like that. But they're in excellent condition. When I got them, they were pretty new. A little bit worn on the inside, as you can see here from the picture. And I will say that is an important part with shoes. Make sure that you do put a picture of the inside of the shoes because people could be a little picky with that and you don't want to get someone to want to return them. You want, them to, you want to be able to provide a picture that you have provided all of the condition issues um, on them. But they sold for $40 and the buyer did pay $9.25 shipping. The, I bought these when you could still pay like three fifty dollars for a pair of shoes at Goodwill. Times have changed because they have raised their prices on shoes. This is another pair. Um, I bought these actually for Emma from Goodwill when they were still $3.99 or $3.50. She didn't want them. They're size 10 Crocs. Uh, the Mary Jane slip-on. Um, she didn't want them, so I put them on eBay. They're in really nice condition. Really nice condition. Um, a little bit of wear on the bottom, but they sold for $20 and the buyer paid $8.70 shipping. The next item is something that I picked up at Goodwill. Um, ceramic steer, skull, head, horns, beads, feathers, artist sign, um, a Native American. I, another, another key word that probably would have been a good thing to put in the title was maybe Southwest or Southwestern. Um, I did pick this up at Goodwill for 99 cents. Um, it is signed on the bottom. I couldn't find a whole lot of information on it. So I just went with the information that I had or that I could find. Um, and this was only, let me see the size. Yeah, it was just four inches long and three and a half inches wide. So it wasn't it wasn't very big. It wasn't a big skull. Um, and it sold for $18.50 and the buyer paid $5.80 shipping. Hallmark ornaments. I'm still selling them every week. And again, I have no money in these. These were given to me by my mother when she moved. Uh, she, like me, likes to buy Hallmark ornaments. I still buy them. And and I, I don't know. I have this weird love for them. And I, I, 
it, it cannot be explained, but they're just so darn cute. And if I can find something new in the box, I'm just kind of all about that. But this little creepy pencil guy is from 2008. It's a teacher's ornament, teacher's rule. Um, and it was an artist. So this artist is Katrina Bricker. Let's see if any of the pictures have a signature on it. I'm not seeing where it's signed anywhere. Teachers rock. Yes, they do. Okay, there it goes. Katrina Bricker was the hallmark, the artist for that one. So sold for $10 free shipping. I'm going to have to take away this free shipping because it's really affecting my bottom line when it comes to the like my fees that I'm charged at the end. So I'm either going to have to raise my prices on these ornaments and offer free shipping or keep the prices the same and charge the three fifty shipping for um, uh, because it's it something's not right. So again, I said it before. I was playing around with it while they're selling. They're they're it's not voting too well for me at the end of the week. I did sell two of my own mugs. I love fun and, and fun mugs. I I love to find them at Goodwill. I love to find them at thrift stores. I love to find them at Goodwill. I already said Goodwill, yard sales. Um, but I loved this one, and I've had this for a while, and I'm 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 selling some of them. But this one is, I think you'll like this mug, because it's got lots of flowery all over. It's just kind of a fun mug. But I did sell this one for $18, um, and the buyer did pay shipping on that. So, And actually, the buyer bought this one as well as this one. Um, this was another one of my mugs for my own collections. I have no idea what I'm doing, which is a common... Uh, thing for me from day to day. Um, this one sold for $14. It wasn't as fun as the other one, I guess. Sold for $14 and the buyer paid $5.80 shipping. I did ship them together. I did give them a discount um, on depending on what the difference was in the shipping. All right. And the next item is a cross stitch kit. Boy, it's really hard sometimes to take a good picture with the cellophane that's all over these kits. But we did what we could, but this was a vintage Golden Bee count, counted cross-stitch kit with this Western, kind of a 90s Western, Southwestern motif. It has the little rocking horse on it. Brand new, never opened. Um, it sold for $12 with free shipping. And again, I pick these up at yard sales, um, Goodwill, if I can get them for 99 cents. So I probably paid about either, it was under $2 that I paid for this, but easy to take a picture of, easy to ship. These are, were also mine. Uh, Converse All-Star Madison Low Top Shoes. I don't think I have worn these. Maybe one time. Maybe one time. Just never wore them. Um, sold them for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. So see, you go through your closet, do some spring cleaning, throw it up on eBay. You might as well. You might as well. Expired ink. I learned this trick from Rally Roots. Yeah, they sell expired ink all the time like a boss. And... I will look for it. If I can get it for a good price, I'll run some comps on it. And if there's some money to be made there, I don't got no problem. Look, two pictures is all it took. Bam, bam. Two. Two pictures. Expired ink. And I put it, it expired in 2016. Now, I don't know. Maybe they don't make this ink anymore. Sometimes that can play into effect of it. People have a printer. They don't want to buy the printer. They're going to buy this ink. It'll still work. It's just expired. But it sold for $12. It was free shipping. I've had this for a little while, so I'm glad that it went. I do have some more. I don't think I have any more yellow. I think this was the only yellow that I have. So I might play around with those listings a little bit and zhuzh them up a little bit and um, take them off and, and re redo them. But I did do a trick that Rally Roots, uh, if you're not subscribed to them, make sure that you do. They're, they have a wonderful eBay ch you know, learning channel. They, they're very very good about teaching and showing you how to do things. Um, <clears throat> so make sure that you are subscribed to their channel. But um, they did a, um, a, a thing where saying that things that you could do for your eBay store, which was like a store refresh. And if I can find that video, I will link that, that particular video in the description. So make sure that you go and watch that. And it did work. You know, I didn't even want to show my sales last week. And then I've had a lot of sales this week. I mean, and I haven't listed a thing, not one thing this week, which is bad, but I haven't. I haven't had time to. So there's something to that. So thanks, Rally Roots, for that um, tip. All right, the next thing, the next two things actually are Hallmark ornaments. These did sell to the same person. They're very cute. One of them is a grandson, 
and one of them is granddaughter. This one particular one is granddaughter. This one did come in the original box. It sold for $11 with free shipping. Um, there she is, a scupendous granddaughter. This one's from 1994 in the box. The other one is the grandson, kind of the matching one, but in grandson, also from 1994, and that's a stew, scupendous grandson. And you can see that these aren't perfect. This one did not have the original box. It's got some wear. It's been used. It sold for $8, and um, I did do, that one I did have some volume pricing on, so she got a little bit of a break with that, and I did combine, well, it was free shipping, but I did ship them together. And then the sale of the week for us, good job, Mark, good job, is this 1976 Hot Wheels Flying Collars Datsun Z-Wiz Green Hong Kong Black Wall. These were black wall tires. So it actually sold for $50. We did take a best offer. We had it listed for $65. That one little Hot Wheel car sold for $50. So never doubt sometimes the thing, and this isn't even a red line. So a lot of times when you're looking for Hot Wheels, immediately your brain thinks red line, red line, red lines. But no, not always the case. So if you've got a baggie full of Hot Wheels, sit down one night as you're, you know, watching TV and just pull them up one at a time and look them up. See if there's any money in there. If you want to sell them singly or if you want to lot them as one big lot together, you know, kind of see what your your options are. This was free shipping, but gosh darn it, that was fine because it was like $3.50 to ship. Um, and that was that was the sale of the week. All right, so let's go into the report for March 2nd and to March 9th, which is today, well, which was for you yesterday, but it's today for me. Um, I sold 17 items. My sales were up 112%, which was great because I didn't sell a whole hell of a lot last week. My total sales, including tax, were, uh, which was my gross sales, so this was before any fees were taken out, $418, up 240% from last week. Um, I didn't have any fees taken out because I do have a starter store in eBay. Um, the, um, let's see, the taxes were $28.38 collected by eBay. Selling costs were $138.50. So that is um, shipping labels, PayPal fees. That's where all that comes out of. So my net sales, what eBay deposited into my account was $258.95, up 558.4% from the last period. That's pretty darn good. And it's good for me not listing at all last week. So I will take that as a win this week. So yay, yay, yay. Um, so the, the bottom line is, well, watch, watch Rally Roots video. If your sales are slumping a little bit, watch that video. I will link it down in the description. Um, and maybe put some of those um, tips that he had recommend to use in your own eBay store and see if it makes any difference. Those were my sales this week, so I will take that. So that was a, it was a, it was a good week for me not listing anything. I'll take it. All right. So now uh, what I thought that we would do since I said that I would is we're going to go over here and we're going to maybe try to move a few things around a little bit. I'll show you my shelves. These are all things that are going to be sold in a live sale. And I've got a lot of spaces. I've been pulling things off. My my fairy lamp stash is getting a little low, a little little low here. So I'm gonna move these around a little bit. Yeah, those are the only ones I got left. Um, and then I've got some art glass. So I'm just gonna move things around. Oh, look at this basket. Isn't this glorious? I'm saving this for. I probably should put this for Christmas stuff, but but maybe I could sell it on Fourth of July. Look at that lot of Sino in there. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, this will be a good little thing to sell in an Easter sale. So I have a few Easter things. Um, oh, well, they're kind of lined up up there, but I need to kind of get them down and in a spot where I can see them. I have a couple of them kind of lined up here. Um, I'm probably going to get a step stool and do that. And I can't do that with this ca camera in my hand. So I will wait to do that. But you know, one other thing that I need to do is, oh, look at this cool bunny. Look at that bunny lamp. Hmm. That's nice. Um, one thing that I need to do is pull, I need to pull 10 things for Sunday night's sale on the Cult of Vintage YouTube. Actually, I need to pull nine things because I have, uh, one thing at home that I'm definitely going to sell. And so... What else should we take? 
for Sunday night. I thought about these Lucite cats. Aren't these great? Now, I will say, the I think it's the little cat. The little cat has a boober on the corner, and his um, we had to glue his neck back on because he... He, he was broken. He was broken when I bought him. He was that cool. But he goes with his mama. His mama's in great condition. These do fluoresce a little bit underneath black light too. So maybe we'll take the little um, Lucite cats. How about the honey badgers? Does anybody like the honey badgers don't play? They're just weird, right? Oh, I know one thing that I, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to take these. I'm going to lay them down right there for now. But these I loved and they are not necessarily my decor style. They're very mid-century modern though. And I do like mid-century modern, but these are made by Florence Ceramics. They're stunning. The workmanship, they are just figurines. You can see they're Florence Ceramics made out of Cal made from California or made in California. They're the pair of them, Asian style boy and girl. I love them. They are just beautifully done, excellent condition. So I think that we will try these on Sunday night as well. We could do a panther. I've got a panther. Let's do the panther, the black panther planter. So we'll do that guy. What else shall we do? We've got Viking, Viking, these I'm kind of saving. Oh, I know. I was going to do these hull or hull, H-U-L-L, -L, cream and sugar, H-U-L-L. -L. So we'll do those as a set. I love hull or hull. I say it wrong. And when I'm saying it hull, it sounds like I'm saying hull, but it's hull with a U. What else shall we take? Oh, I know something great for spring. Move over there are these three mugs. Now, I don't know if I should do them choice. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think I should do these choice or sell them all together? That doesn't mean that I'm going to do what you say, but I'm just, I'm, I'm curious. They are Fire King, and I don't know if, okay, they're all three different. So, this one has the blue and the yellow. This one has the red on both sides. And this one has the yellow on both sides. So they're all, you know, they're not exactly the same. So we'll do those. I got some bubble bowls down there. I also have some pretty stinking amazing. Well, these are amazing too, but I'm kind of saving those for summer. These mid-century modern glasses here. I might try them. Um, I have, I only have seven instead of eight. So I'm gonna pull a David. I'm gonna sell some. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some balancing. You know, if you come to the sales on Sunday nights, David, junk, drunk, of antiques likes to balance things. But I'm. I'm certain that he is better at balancing than I. Um, but these are pretty pricey. Um, I think a set of these sold for over a hundred dollars. So um, they're little juice glasses, and so we're going to. Um, they are made by Libby, I believe. That is an L. Yeah, looks like the old Laverne and Shirley sign. So if these are the same ones, then they are worth a pretty penny. I will, I will double check those. Obviously, I wish I had all eight, but only have seven. What else? There was something else that I thought. Oh, I'm gonna sell that on a Sunday night sale. Oh, I know what it was. It was you. It was you, little fella. You are made in. This is another Acme. China, made in Japan, little grasshopper bug pixie. So we'll do him too. I still love this, but I'll just show you a little bit. So I'm, well, well, these are going to be sold on Sunday night, but I'll show you a little bit too of some of the things that are going to be upcoming. If you see something that you're interested in, you can send me an email. I do have several of these Joseph original girls. Like I've got number four. Um, this one is, well, what number are you, girl? Let's find out. Oh, hers number one. Hers number one. 
So we've got number one, number four. I wish they said on the box. It would make it a lot easier for me, wouldn't it? Okay, we put the camera down for a few minutes because I was befuddling these and I didn't want to break anything. And I, considering I can't even open up the box with two hands. Okay, so we've got one. And now we've got two. She does have her original tag. So we've got one, two. Maybe we've got three. Then we'd have one through four. Let's see what this last box is. Please be three. Please be three. Please be three. Please be three. Oh, hot dang, it's three. She has her little tag too. So you have one, two, three, and four. That's great. So I've got those. You can send me a message if you might be interested in. Now only four does not have her original box and she also doesn't have her original tag. But she goes with her friends. This little girl, I'm saving her for summer. Look at her little hula girl. I also have this hula girl. We're all visiting Freddy in Hawaii. I wish. Um, so yeah, some of the things I have I'm kind of saving for a seasonal thing. Um, but I got a lot of Easter things, so I need to start like pulling the Easter and spring related things out. This is different. I just got this. It's a sheep dog. Look at that. It's an ashtray. Isn't that bizarre? It is California. It's made in California. But it's a sheepdog ashtray. Look at his little poofy tail. I, I thought, it was, thought it was kind of fun and interesting. This Dad got this lighter. I think it's lovely. It's very Art Deco. It does not work. I don't know if you could get it to work, but it has this beautiful green, very Art Deco. It almost looks like a tree branch. It doesn't have any markings on it at all, and I haven't done a Google search on it. Also, look how big those are. Those are coming up for a summer sale as well. But basically what I need to do, it's something that I'm going to be working on, is getting things um, kind of in seasonally things. I have all this Easter stuff up here, but I don't have, I need to be able to get it to where I can see it, to where, you know, Easter won't be over and then I haven't sold it, any of it. So I need to work on that a little bit today. What time is it? It's 1030. So we've got a lot done in the amount of time that we've been here, but we still have a, a lot to do today. So I am going to work on editing this video. I'm going to take you down. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. It was still a little bit longer. We covered a lot, but um, I'm going to get this video edited before my live sale so I can um, work on my taxes tonight not edit a video, but make sure that you do go up and watch some of the drop sales that are happening tonight. Like I said, they'll all be linked in. I'll go ahead and link um, the, I'll link my video in the description below, but on tonight's video, all of the other channels will be linked as well. So make sure that you go over and check out their channel and their content and their drop sale to see if there's anything that you might be interested in purchasing. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so, so much. It's been a crazy week and um, it's been a busy week, but I love to stay busy and I love that y'all keep me busy. So thank you so much for participating in my videos and commenting and, and that sort of thing. Um, I will be going to be kind of doing a little bit of crowdsourcing about a few things that might happen on my channel. So make sure that you stay tuned for that and just thank you. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being so wonderful and thank you for joining in and following me along on my wild, little, weird, wacky journey. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I hope that you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already. And, and I get—I got to say it the same way. I get it in my video the same way every week or my whole vibe will be off. But as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Red hot mama, red hot mama. Drop his fiddle, make a bald head
Hey, the man, per se. <laughs>